and welcome back to my channel, Nurse Polymath. So many of you who are new to my channel, thank you and welcome. And those of you who are my OGs and have been with me since the beginning, I appreciate you and I thank you. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up as well as subscribe to my YouTube channel. Today, what I'm talking about is nursing and where we are in the field. Yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. Yes, all. It is definitely different. Okay. Let me tell you, let me tell you. When I came into nursing, I knew what I was getting myself into dinosaur years ago, by the way. And I came back into the field ready. I didn't miss a beat, even though I had been away from the bad side for a decade. Go back and watch that video. But I didn't miss a beat. I'm pretty much, you know, pretty much the same as I was before I left the floors. Um, I left my nurse practitioner position. I didn't particularly care too much for it. Watch that video. At some point, I am going to go back to being a nurse practitioner, but definitely not in the area or specialty that I was working. Right now, what I see in nursing is that there is a massive shortage of nursing. There's an abundance of money. When I tell you there is money out here to be made in nursing, it's unbelievable. But guess what? People are so stressed out, they don't want the money. People want staffing. People want lower nurse to patient ratios because people are just tired. People are burned completely out. I also see constant clicky behavior against nurses who are contract nurses, float nurses, flex nurses, visiting nurses. They are not being the nicest when it comes to assignments and assigning patients. It is ridiculous how nurses or charge nurses or these assistant clinical leaders are not taking in consideration the quality of care and how it is compromised when they are making these patient assignments. People do not get it. Just because we are float nurses, we're coming to help. We're coming to work and do the same exact thing you're doing. Yes, minus the pay. We are getting paid more but it is a choice that we are making and it's a choice that you can make if that's what you choose to do it is unfair to be angry with the nurses who are making more money giving them the harder more complex patients risking the patient's health risking the nurse's mental health as well as the nurse's license it is ridiculous i can't tell you how it is a continuation and it has not stopped and nobody seems to care about it. If you don't speak up for yourself, nothing will be done. That is the name of the game when we're talking about floating, okay? That is another video. Watch my video on float nursing, by the way. But what I'm seeing out here is there is a shortage of nurses. There's a shortage of nurse techs. There's a shortage, shortage of housekeepers. I mean, we are doing housekeepers work. We're doing nurse tech work. We are doing everything many of you out here might say well that's what you get because you're making a lot of money no that is not how it works we were most of us came into nursing because we have a passion for what we do when i came into nursing i came into nursing because i had a passion i still have a passion for nursing i did not come into nursing for the money because guess what? When I came into nursing, they weren't making no money like that. In fact, during that time, people would look at you like, really? You want to do what now? And look today, people are angry. Okay. Doctors are angry. Other health providers are angry because they're upset with the countless amount of money nurses are making. But what people don't seem to realize and understand we do a lot. We do way more than just walk in a room for five minutes and walk out of the room, okay? We are doing way more than going in a room, chit-chatting with a patient, sitting down, which we can't really do, by the way. Um, we go in and we work. Also do bedside things that require nurse tech help, 
because like let's be honest i'm gonna just keep it real with you we have nurse techs yes but we have a shortage of nurse techs but we also have nurse techs that we do have that really are not worth two pennies okay they don't want to help you do nothing now don't be offended but it's the truth I have worked on units where the nurse aides don't want to even get a cup of water for a patient. They don't want to do nothing, okay? That is also stressful for the nurse, okay? Keep in mind, we are responsible for the patient. We're responsible for every single thing that goes on with the patient. Physical therapists is a shortage of PT. Occupational therapists, they have a boatload of patients that they have to see. Wound care, everybody is taxed, okay? And guess what? The bigger picture is the patient, the care, the quality of care that the patient misses or lacks because of all this other stuff that goes on. So yes, nursing, where it stands right now, is totally challenged, challenged more than I can ever say, and I can't even imagine. It doesn't seem like it's really getting any better. Hospitals are eliminating travel agencies to the best of their ability. That is the plan because travel agency nurses are expensive, okay? But it's difficult to eliminate travel nurses when you can't retain your own nursing staff. A lot of nurses are complaining that they're not making the same money and it's frustrating. But it's political as well. People don't understand politics plays into everything that we do. So financially, maybe they cannot afford to pay all their regular staff nurses who get 